Mechanism of Action of Penicillins To understand the mechanism of action of penicillin, you will have to first understand basic concepts on the structure of the bacterial cell wall and why the cell wall is an important part of the bacteria, especially the gram-positive bacteria. The bacterial cell wall consists of a polymer made up of two moieties, N-acetylmuramic acid and N-acetylglucosamine. There is a pentapeptide linked to the N-acetylmuramic acid and several enzymes cross-link these peptides resulting in a tightly knit structure that is responsible for the structural strength of the cell wall. These cell walls are prominent in the gram-positive bacteria. In the gram-negative bacteria, there is a lipopolysaccharide layer outside the cell wall. Transpeptidase is one such enzyme which helps in cross-linking. Transpeptidases are present in the periplasmic space. Penicillins bind to this enzyme and prevents its action. The result is something like this. See the bacterial cell wall has a high osmotic pressure inside and once the cell wall is broken, water from outside rushes in and results in cellular breakdown. Transpeptidases are also called as penicillin binding proteins because penicillins bind to it. That does not mean that other beta lactams don't bind. In fact, all beta lactams like cephalosporins bind to the transpeptidase. This is why all beta lactams are bactericidal in nature. That is, they kill the bacteria. Is that all? Well, almost. Penicillins are known to trigger autolysins that could result in the death of the bacterial cell wall. This could be a minor contribution though. To wrap it up, remember, penicillins bind to transpeptidase and prevent peptide cross-linking in the cell wall. Penicillins are bactericidal in nature. In general, penicillins are more effective against gram-positive bacteria, though modifications like amoxicillin, which results in the drug being able to reach the cell wall in a gram-negative bacteria, will have a broader spectrum of action including the gram-positive bacteria and the gram-negative bacteria.